privilege and great pleasure to chair this session today. Uh, and the first speaker is Peter Toshek, uh, who is the recipient of the uh, Herbert Butler Award, as you have seen this morning, and who is uh, one of the founding fathers of, of uh, spe laser spectroscopy, laser physics, and cold atom physics. And today, Peter is going to present to us this uh, single cold atom physics. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, it is only uh, a little more than 100 years ago that Ernst Mach, the famous uh, Vienna physicist and philosopher, uh, was not convinced about the reality of atoms. He, uh, he uh, queried when the liquid emerges from a fire as droplets. This is no proof that there are droplets inside. But very soon, uh, those droplets in the, in, in the, in the form of atoms was uh, uh, prepared as a, as a beam by the French physicist uh, Noyer and uh, widely used by Otto Stern in, uh, uh, later at Hamburg University, namely by making uh, the atoms of a, uh, of a metal vapor emerge from the pinhole of an oven and uh, 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 looking at, at collecting the uh, atoms uh, uh, that could emerge through a, a, a little pinhole at a distance from the oven. And uh, in this kind of, uh, uh, this kind of, this way of preparing, an atomic beam uh, reduced uh, two uh, dimensions, namely at right angles to the uh, flight direction, uh, so that uh, the only one uh, direction of motion uh, was left over, namely the direction in the uh, in in the uh, the dimension in the direction of the flight, which is named uh, z. Uh, Otto Stern, the discoverer of spatial quantization and diffraction of matter waves and the magnetic moment of the proton, made uh, uh, very much use of this kind of arrangement. Now, uh, uh, later, with the, uh, with the uh, uh, emergence of uh, narrowband uh, uh, light uh, sources like lasers, it was possible to not only to uh, uh, select, uh, not only to live to uh, uh, to avoid uh, motion in the x and y direction, but also to do a selection in the z direction, in the flight direction, by making use of the saturation, saturation by uh, 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 by a narrowband laser, for instance, uh, which. Uh, prefers one particular uh, one particular um, uh, class of uh, velocities of the uh, atoms, and uh, this, of course, was only uh, possible due to the fact that we had that lasers provided extremely uh, 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 a light source of pos of uh, potentially uh, very uh, very narrow frequency distribution. And uh, fluorescence detection in the uh, in a direction uh, in in a direction uh, uh, perpendicular to the uh, laser uh, uh, could give rise to a narrow uh, spectrum spectra. Uh, uh, with this kind of arrangement, no Doppler effect uh, could uh, affect the uh, observed atoms, and uh, uh, but uh, there, there remained a problem, namely, uh, it would be uh, preferable to have a permanent presence of atoms in a specially localized, uh, in a special, specially localized uh, way, uh, so to, uh, so to speak, to make use of immobile atoms. 
and these immobile atoms would uh, 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 promise to uh, make a new physics possible, namely uh, in ensemble it could give, uh, one could expect novel phases, for instance crystals of uh, atomic particles in a, in a potential or uh, in, as it later turns out uh, Bose-Einstein condensation. Uh, in, for a single atom, uh, of course, uh, a permanent presence in a particular location uh, is something like a zero-dimensional atomic beam and uh, it, prom it promised an individual quantum system for extended observation. Uh, uh, the first uh, way to do such a localization was uh, a quantum pole trap for the trapping of iron, which was invented by, by my thesis advisor Wolfgang Paul and his colleagues. And it consisted of a, a, a ring and two caps uh, with the, uh, with the uh, uh, RF uh, voltage applied such that um, uh, an ion inside, the uh, ions inside the chair would uh, undergo an oscillation and uh, if it is possible, if it were possible to reduce this oscillation to a small amplitude, it is, provides an atomic sample which is virtually, uh, virtually immobile. And uh, the uh, the working principle is well known. Uh, it is uh, uh, the potential, the electric potential at, at a certain uh, moment is a settled potential and it is flapping in time when the, uh, when the voltage is, uh, when, when the voltage uh, oscillates. Now, uh, and this can be it is not a rotation of the uh, potential uh, as uh, sometimes assumed or attributed to this kind of uh, trapping technique. It is just uh, uh, flopping like this. And when the frequency is uh, increased, then uh, the uh, flop flopping increases and uh, the uh, a, a potential emerges, which is called the Pondero, which is made up by the ponderomotive forces in the center of the track. And now, uh, this kind of arrangement is not um, is not um, perfect for a, a, for a localization in for a perfect localization because uh, when the uh, charged particles are hot they are undergoing uh, 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 large amplitudes inside, inside the trap and what we need is a laser cooling and this was, uh, uh, this was uh, known for a long time and the first step in the right direction was uh, done by Otto Frisch at the at Hamburg University in, in 1933, uh, uh, when he demonstrated the uh, recoil of light upon sodium atoms, and uh, uh, the uh, uh, cooling of uh, uh, of uh, trapped uh, charged particles or, uh, or even neutral particles was uh, was. Uh, anticipated by uh, uh, Alfred Kastler in France, by, uh, who coined the name Lumino Refrigeration. And uh, finally, a scheme for cooling free atoms was, uh, uh, was given by uh, Ted Hedge and Aldo Scholo in 1975, and a similar scheme for uh, bound atoms by Wineland and Neyman. Uh, we know that uh, the, atom, the simplest way of atom cooling 
is due to uh, irradiation of the atoms by down to down to light uh, because uh, uh, the uh, 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 the light is put into resonance for uh, those atoms which can't propagate the light and so uh, they are uh, their velocity is reduced by uh, whereas for um, atoms moving in the direction of the light the uh, Doppler shift goes uh, further into the wing so that uh, no uh, interaction takes place. And uh, it, it took some time uh, until this kind of scheme was realized in experiment and uh, this uh, was done in 1978 uh, by uh, my group in, uh, Heid in Heidelberg and also by the group of uh, Vineland in Boulder and uh, 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 strangely enough there was a difference of one day in the uh, in, uh, in the uh, at, uh, uh, when the uh, submission uh, showed up uh, at the editor of physical review letters. Uh, the laser cooling, uh, 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 this kind of recording uh, of uh, the fluorescence of uh, 30 barium atoms is shown here. Uh, here, the tuning of the light is uh, to the red side, whereas here it is to the blue side, and uh, this uh, shows heating. And when the light is recorded uh, by a diaphragm, then of course, uh, when the cooling uh, when the cooling reduces the amplitude of the oscillation of the ions in the trap, uh, the signal increases. Whereas here, when the uh, when the amplitude is uh, blown up, the uh, signal uh, is reduced. So this was the first uh, the first uh, proof of uh, uh, the first demonstration of laser cooling. Here you see uh, this is a recording of um, by uh, spatially resolving. Uh, uh, photomultiplier which was available at that time as a novelty and you can see here um, a gas of a hot uh, barium ions but when uh, the cooling is uh, beginning you can see you can see that uh, a kind of crystal of uh, uh, is, for, uh, is, uh, is emerging in this uh, in this picture, in this video, there were uh, four ions in the tram. Uh, so uh, this kind of uh, crystallization of charged particles in the uh, in uh, in a, in a trap in a, in a potential uh, well uh, has been uh, anticipated by Wigner. It's called the Wigner, Wigner crystal. And uh, uh, this uh, uh, research on these crystals have been uh, it have been done to a large extent in the group of uh, of uh, uh, Herbert Walter in Munich, in Gasol. Yeah, but uh, the uh, the. Uh, The final temperature, uh, which can be achieved with this kind of simple uh, technique, is very limited. One cannot go to very deep, uh, very deep temperatures because the uh, the cooling uh, is uh, controlled by the uh, line width of the by the line width of the line, uh, and uh, in in this way it was only possible to achieve a temperature of a few millikelvin, whereas uh, some uh, more refined techniques 
uh, has been have been uh, have been uh, worked out uh, by the uh, Paris group uh, of uh, Quentanucci and uh, and uh, uh, collaborators uh, under the name of Sisyphus cooling on velocity selective coherent population trapping. Uh, and another approach is to use Raman lines, which can have very narrow uh, line widths and can give rise to very low temperatures. And this, had, this, uh, this uh, technique has been, uh, has been uh, used in our lab in uh, Hamburg. Uh, well, uh, single. A single particle uh, was uh, announced in this paper in 1980. It was a barium ion, and uh, at that time uh, it has been possible to, uh, to, uh, to improve the selectivity and the sensitivity of. Uh, uh, a fluorescence experiment is so much is so far that uh, uh, a single uh, the observation of single um, at, uh, atoms or ions were possible was possible yeah so this is the first image of an individual called ion the ion is here in the center of the trap uh, all this is stray light from the electrodes of the trap, the trap has a diameter of half a millimeter. And this is another picture of a single ion, which is not cold, which is hot, and it shows a harmonic oscillator, a mechanical oscillator. It oscillates in the trap with an amplitude of about 20 micrometers. And you can see the turning points, and since the, uh, the probability of uh, finding the ion is uh, here larger than in the center, you see these uh, brighter parts. And uh, that this, this, is, uh, this seems to be brighter, but this is um, an effect of the, uh, of, uh, of, the, uh, 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 of the microscopic detection, which has a limited uh, deep field. Of, of sharpness. <coughs> well, uh, uh, let us compare an, uh, an in, 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 a few features of an individual quantum system with an ensemble. Uh, what quantity do we measure with an ensemble? Uh, this is a, an expectation value, whereas with an individual quantum system, an eigenvalue is measured. And so, uh, really, quantum measurements are in a one-channel uh, detection scheme, possible only with an individual quantum system, because an expectation value is basically a classical value. Uh, uh, the perturbation of an ensemble, uh, an ensemble can uh, show up quite a strong uh, perturbation by the other members of the ensemble, ensemble because, but, but uh, however, uh, with an individual quantum system, you can avoid uh, the, uh, the, any perturbation as long as the, uh, the, uh, as long as the distance from the electrodes is large enough. And what is observed is uh, in an ensemble, a macro state in the term, in the uh, uh, in the uh, a macro state, it is an average. Whereas an individual quantum system makes a micro state of the system uh, addressable, and the result is stochastic, as the, since quantum mechanics is a stochastic theory, stochastic description. Whereas uh, for an ensemble, the result is deterministic uh, uh, if the, if the uh, a, a small variation by uh, reduction, uh, by the uh, state reduction, 
is, uh, is, is small enough. So when you have a large number of uh, members in the in the in the uh, ensemble, then the quantum effect is only uh, the variance of the signals, and this can be made uh, small enough. And uh, to all these features uh, belong uh, applications. Uh, for instance, uh, free uh, the fact that no perturbation is possible. Uh, 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 makes the single uh, quantum system uh, usable as a frequency standard or uh, the stochastic result uh, makes, it makes it possible to use it for cryptography. Uh, in uh, it, it since we can, we can uh, see uh, eigenvalues with a single system, it uh, should be possible to see quantum jumps. And uh, in the uh, mid 80s, uh, some, uh, it was uh, kind of fashionable to look for quantum jumps. And this is one of the uh, fluorescence recordings with the uh, with a tuned with the scanned red light in this uh, level scheme of barium. Uh, in the center is a resonance which, is, uh, which can be attributed to uh, uh, what is, has been later called electromagnetically induced transparency. But here the signal goes uh, on and off in a, a very uh, short time because the, the scanning uh, it went in this direction, and you can see here quantum jumps. But at that time, we were not sure that we really have seen quantum jumps because uh, there was a, a, a possibility that uh, the ion might have left the chair and, uh, uh, and reappeared again after a while. But after a publication uh, by, by uh, Cook and Kimball, we were pretty sure that we have seen quantum jumps and uh, this was published in 1986 uh, and about almost uh, simultaneously uh, in uh, the group of uh, Hans Demel in Seattle and in our group then in Heidelberg. Uh, let me show you the dynamics of two trapped ions in uh, uh, in the next uh, video, uh, there are two ions. One of them is in the dark state, in the in the metastable D level, uh, whereas the other one is uh, is emitting fluorescence. And there may be uh, uh, one of the ion may go. Uh, the dark one may uh, become bright, and the bright one become dark. And when these two processes are correlated then we know that uh, the process is in, shows an exchange of location, whereas when they are not correlated, it is a, 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 what we see are individual quantum jumps. You can see that there are correlated and uncorrelated event, events. So both uh, uh, exchange of location takes place or, uh, or uh, individual quantum jumps. Uh, now let me show you a, f a few uh, experiments. This for instance uh, shows uh, the uh, fluorescence spectrum. Uh, with, the, uh, with the red laser tuned across the red PD resonance here, and since there are four Zeeman states, there are four of these dark resonances here, and uh, there, uh, uh, to all, to each of these resonances, there uh, uh, belongs cooling and heating, cooling at the at the red wing of the resonance and hitting at the blue wing of the resonance. And 
uh, when, uh, when the two ions are cooled, they uh, uh, generate a kind of, uh, a kind of um, uh, a crystal uh, only consisting of two, of two ions, whereas when they are heated, they uh, uh, create a kind of plasma cloud. And this can be quantified here. Uh, the, top line, the top diagram shows uh, either a plasma ring or a crystal, and this correlates very well with the. Uh, this is the kinetic energy here. Uh, these are the uh, the ranges of, of heating, and in between there's the range of cooling, and this uh, is compatible with the observation of the hot state and the cool state. Uh, so uh, there has been uh, quite a bit of research on individual atoms, uh, the anti-bunching of resonance fluorescence, the stochastic cooling to the vibronic vacuum state, uh, Rabi mutation on electronic and vibronic transition, and uh, the inhibition of quantum evolution by iterated measurements, the quantum Zeno paradox, which has been addressed this morning. Uh, uh, the uh, excitation and de-excitation of the dark state can, uh, uh, can give rise to, uh, uh, to uh, a, different, uh, a different variant of uh, cooling, uh, which we have called stochastic cooling. Uh, the requirements is to have, the two, to have two lasers in a three-level system, and uh, there's a, an alternating pulse of uh, red and green light, uh, which uh, so that the the uh, this is a driving line, and this is the line used for uh, excitation of fluorescence and uh, detection of the. Uh, you can detect when fluorescence is observed. We know that the ion has uh, the ion has been in the ground state, and when no fluorescence is observed, it is in the electronically excited state here. And uh, it, this shows uh, the, uh, this diagram shows sideband spectrum spectrum a uh, sideband spectrum of Zeeman's of the Zeeman split line. There are four Zeeman components. And you can recognize here the vibrational sidebands, which are the analog of, uh, uh, of, uh, similar, of similar sidebands known from, uh, the, uh, from the Mössbauer effect. And uh, the modification of the vibronic distribution may uh, take uh, place. It, we start with the Boltzmann distribution over the vib uh, vibrational levels and in the ground state, in the electronic ground state, and uh, we make uh, use of the fact that high, uh, the, uh, the matrix elements between excited vibrational levels is proportional to uh, n plus i, n, n plus 1, which is where n is the vibrational quantum number. And uh, this gives a different, uh, a, a, a modified vibrational distribution which is no longer Boltzmannian. And uh, this diagram shows the distribution after uh, irradiation at uh, the, uh, at, uh, the uh, uh, vibrational line uh, uh, with, the, with the change of the vibrational quantum number by plus one and minus one from, uh, uh, from uh, a Boltzmannian distribution. And uh, when uh, doing, uh, when repeating this alternating irradiation with the uh, uh, drive and probe line, we get, uh, a, 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 we get um, an accumulation of the probability for the ion in one uh, pre selected state here in this example in the uh, state n equal 1. So one can uh, reach uh, with long uh, chains of measurements, one can, uh, uh, one can achieve uh, the preparation of the 
iron in any of the vibration uh, levels. Uh, now, let me finally, let me give you a few hints uh, how uh, one can uh, uh, do even fundamental, uh, one can uh, investigate fundamental problems like the impeding quantum evolution by measurement, which is called, which is known as the quantum Zeno paradox with a single particle. Here, uh, in, in uh, this is a schematic experiment when uh, the uh, superposition state is started and then uh, there's, uh, we, uh, we uh, apply a pulse of probe light. We can, uh, we find the ion either in the, in the excited electronic state or in the ground state. And uh, the probability is given by this, uh, this well-known quantum mechanical uh, formula. But uh, the question is raised, uh, what does this uh, state reduction, is there a back action of the uh, detection of a particular, of a particular of, of light or darkness here uh, uh, to find out that there is uh, the uh, ion in the ground state or in the excited state. We know from, uh, from uh, basic quantum theory that uh, state reduction is, uh, is connected with the, uh, with the uh, uh, result of the measurement. And then, uh, when repeating this kind of measurement, we get a kind of, of, uh, 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 of uh, a, a, a series of results. Uh, this is an example of such a tra trajectory. This means uh, uh, no fluorescence, and this means fluorescence, and this is a, a stochastic signal. Uh, the quantum Zeno effect says an unstable particle observed uh, uh, quasi continuously will never de de be found to decay. Uh, 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 for an observation, we are, have to do real quantum measurements of the type of, uh, uh, of survival of. Of, uh, of the time of survival of the material uh, sample, which is uh, an individual ion in this case. And uh, an unstable particle is either a, a particle in the ground state irradiated by resonant light to excite fluorescence, or this uh, kind of three level system where uh, the uh, where we excite this, uh, this uh, two-level system here and uh, the probe light is used for uh, detecting uh, uh, and darkness is, uh, means that we found that the particle after the measurement is found in the electronically excited state and fluorescence means this is the ground, it has been in the ground state. Uh, the probability of survival after n probe interactions considered measurements is uh, uh, given uh, here by this, uh, uh, by this uh, n, n power of, uh, cosiness, uh, of the cosinus of the, uh, of the uh, so called pulse area of the light, this is the, uh, the Rabi frequency uh, squared. And since we apply n pulses, so the total probability after n pulses will be this, which is can be written as an exponential of uh, minus r uh, tau. And r has been uh, identified with the uh, decay rate gamma of the atomic ensemble, even in a famous uh, experiment and in a, in a, in a, in a by the, uh, by the Boulder group. However, uh, with the uh, ensemble, what we measure is an expectation value, which is, uh, as I mentioned before, a kind of a classical value. Whereas, uh, 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 with a single atom, we measure at either uh, we find it in the excited state and not in the ground state or vice versa, in the ground state and not in the excited state. So this 
gives rise to quantum measurement, but not this one. And the quantum mechanics predicts expectation values of ensembles of system or of ensembles of uh, observations. Uh, the mean survival time, now this is important, cannot be derived from observation uh, uh, on ensembles of system that yields the uh, that gets the decay constant gamma, but not the survival time. The survival, so the R the, uh, in the exponential function cannot be the decay constant because the decay constant is, sat, is something like the average over the reciprocal value of the survival time of the uh, individual measure in the, in the individual measurement. We have to, to identify R by this value, by the, uh, by the inverse value of the, uh, of, uh, the average uh, survival times in the end in the, of, of all the uh, individual results. So, uh, an experiment has been done in this way with a three-level system, uh, not a V-shaped but a cascade-shaped system with this kind of result. And uh, the trajectory of the result looks like this. This means uh, results like this means fluorescence. The dark uh, dots means no fluorescence. And the uh, prob probability of Q identical results, be it uh, bright or dark, is given by this simple formula here. And one can do an experiment. Uh, by, by uh, uh, this shows the principle of the results one get as a function of q, which is the length of a, of a, a, the length of a series of measurements with the same results, be it uh, bright or dark. And uh, uh, there is in, in logarithmic uh, in a logarithmic. Uh, uh, um, Diagram, uh, there's a linear dependence of uh, the uh, uh, of the number of uh, if, of uh, of uh, series of a uh, number of series uh, with just q equal results, and an experiment uh, shows these are uh, experimental results here. This deviation from linearity is uh, due to the fact that uh, the uh, number of measurements is, is finite. Uh, the longer the total uh, sequence of measurements, the uh, further out there with higher Q, uh, this deviation of linearity shows up. So there is a full uh, agreement uh, with the experiment. Uh, uh, let me skip this. One can uh, uh, one can deduce some uh, some conclusion which are uh, important for the uh, interpretation epist episto uh, um, for the epistemological uh, questions related with quantum mechanics. Uh, this is a summary of uh, uh, of. Uh, but of the experiments with single ions, laser cooling of atoms was demonstrated for the first time in various ways. Individual atoms have been prepared for experimentation and shown the dark line. And the quantum drums came as a surprise to many theoreticians in the mid 80s. Anti bunching with optical pumping was unraveled, and uh, 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 these experiments have uh, or in interesting experiments in, uh, on this, uh, on this uh, subject has been done in the group of uh, Herbert Walter. Uh, uh, the ion has been stochastically cooled below uh, the first uh, uh, vibronic uh, state in the trap by repeated measurements. The mutation on vibronic transition has been uh, demonstrated. I didn't show you the experiment on that, uh, but uh, uh, even uh, even uh, principle uh, uh, important question 
on the foundations of quantum mechanics can be addressed as is shown by the measurements on the quantum zeta paradox. Uh, and uh, this showed, this uh, uh, quotation by Schrödinger shows that uh, after, uh, after uh, a little more than half a, a century, uh, this has been, uh, this prediction uh, is no longer valid. We really can do experiments with, in, with individual ions or indivi even with individual photons as shown this morning by Serge Havosh. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Peter, for this uh, very impressive record of uh, uh, credible results and uh, which, as you said, the conclusion lead to uh, more and more and better, better understanding of quantum mechanics. Thank you very much.